If you want the perfect coastal grandma inspiration, look no further than these movies. At the heart of the old money coastal granddaughter trends that we're seeing everywhere on TikTok is a selection of movies created by Nancy Myers. In this video, I'm going to break down the core elements of the style in these movies to identify why they're having a resurgence despite being made decades ago. My name is Ellie Jean, I'm a style analyst, and on this channel, we find our style by finding ourselves. Nancy Meyer's movies have been so popular this year. In this video, I'm gonna focus on three movies. Firstly, The Holiday, which is about two women who essentially swap lives, played by Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz. Something's Gotta Give, which is the movie right at the center of the coastal grandma trend. It's a classic Jack Nicholson rom-com with Diane Keaton, and it's set in the Hamptons. And lastly, of course, The Parent Trap, which is a movie about twins played by Lindsay Lohan, whose parents get separated and they don't know the other exists and then they find each other at a summer camp and swap lives. There's a lot of swapping lives in Nancy Myers movies. And the idea is that they meet the other parent and there are two characters from this movie, Elizabeth James and Meredith Blake, who have launched entire fashion trends this year, despite the movie being years and years old. All three of the above movies tend to have three style roots at the center. And there's a bit of a triangle. Some characters lean more mountain, some lean more mushroom, some lean more earth, but all of them tend to have elements of each. And so I'm gonna break down the elements of these style roots in these movies that we see repeated. There are also so many elements of these movies that I would love to discuss in more depth. For example, in The Holiday, um, both of the main actresses are can be verified. Cameron Diaz is a flamboyant natural. Kate Winslet is a verified romantic. So let me know in the comments if you would like me to do a video on that movie because there's just so much that I would love to say. Today's video is inspired by the shoe brand Vivea, who is sponsoring this video. As soon as I saw the shoes that they had sent me, I knew that this was gonna be the video because they're just so classic, so timeless, and they just scream Nancy Myers to me. I am so excited to introduce the sponsor of today's video, Vivea, because I've been absolutely blown away by the shoes that they sent me. The shoes are made with sustainability in mind. They're actually made from recycled bottles. They have this knitted feel, which is really unique. But the other reason I was just so obsessed with the selection of shoes that they sent me was how comfortable they are. I really struggle with flats and ballet flats because I have scoliosis. So because of the shape of my spine, the way that I walk is affected and my right foot has so many problems with shoes. I destroy so many shoes where my feet don't fall flat on the ground like they're supposed to. I basically blister in almost any pair of shoes that I wear, but because these have that knitted texture, I don't have that problem with these. They are so flexible and they're built with flexibility in mind. They're so breathable and light and honestly, I'm so obsessed and I don't think I'll wear a different pair of flats ever again. <laughs> Most of the pairs are also machine washable, so they're so low stress, which is great for me because I live in the countryside. These shoes are so elegant and timeless and classic, so simply designed. They're already becoming a staple in my wardrobe. Thank you so much to Vivea for sending me these shoes and for supporting this channel by sponsoring this video. If you want to check out their shoes, there are various discounts in the description, especially for their Black Friday sale, which is on now. of mushroom that I see in all these movies is white and cream. This is essentially the neutral which underpins all of these movies rather than something more muddy like tan or gray. It's a very clean color and that's a very deliberate choice. This kind of clean color is associated with expensive styles. Wearing white is a luxury that not a lot of people have. Like it means you don't get your hands dirty. You don't have to worry about getting those clothes dirty. So there is something expensive associated with that color palette. It's also just very simple, very clean, very minimal. It's like not a speck of dirt shows up. And so it creates this very simple, minimal, clean feel. Soft blues in the color palette remind you of the beach. Of course, one of the films is actually set at the beach. Something's gotta give. So we see those colors show up. They're very rarely like hot blues or bright blues. They're always very pastely dusty blues which blend very nicely with the cream and feel very subtle and of course also for mushroom minimal detail there is very rarely bold striking patterns or eclectic patterns usually there's either no pattern it's plain or the pattern the pattern is incredibly subtle and very simple and this again adds to the unfussy feel of the outfits the second 
star route to look at is Mountain. Mountain is the formal, professional, powerful influence in your style. Colour palette wise, we see black and white come up a lot in these movies together. And the significance of that is it's very high contrast, so it's quite a bold, powerful statement. It's still mushroom because they're neutral tones, but there's this strength to that colour combination. Pinstripes, if there's a pattern, it's often pinstripes and it's on those characters that feel um, more formal. Meredith Blake wears a dress with pinstripes. Elizabeth James wears a really cool shirt with pinstripes. And my favourite is, I don't know the characters' names in something I've got to give, but Diane Keaton's character wears a dressing gown with pinstripes. And I think that is really at the core of a lot of these movies, having that balance between something really casual in a very formal way. So there's something so chill about a dressing gown, but the fact that it has this pinstripe means it feels very put together and it feels very intentional, even though it's nightwear. Of course, in mountain, very structured, suit-inspired pieces also feel very mountain because it pulls directly from the office environment. Now it could be more menswear feeling, like a casual shirt rather than just a sloppy t-shirt, or it could be women's office wear inspired, so Cameron Diaz in The Holiday wears this really great pencil skirt with this blouse and that is an incredibly mountain look. It shows that she's very powerful, very put together. Meredith Blake wears very tailored coats and her dresses often have a stiff structure to them. Um, and even though they're very clearly evening gowns, there's something quite professional and formal about them. The other element, of course, that feels very mountain across the films is just quality fabrics. All of Every single item in all of these movies feels like it's very good quality and it feels very expensive and that is incredibly mountain. The third element in Nancy Meyers movies is Earth. Earth can come across as very bohemian which is why you might not expect this style route but it's also generally just very down to earth. I like to use the word rugged, also natural of course. And sometimes it can come across as quite British and we see that example a little bit in the holiday. So one element which creates that earthy feel is knits. So knits are very rugged, cozy, relaxed, especially the cable knit one that we see um, Cameron Diaz wear in the holiday. I've mostly talked about women in this video, but the men's fashion in these movies is also just exquisite. I want to dress all the men in my life like Nick Parker. He's just so effortlessly Californian cool, but also very sophisticated put together. Everything he wears looks so expensive and I'm obsessed with everything he wears. All the practical accessories in these movies, like they love to throw on a neutral hat, like the bucket hat in Something's Gotta Give or the beret in The Holiday. Lots of pattern scarves is like the one place you'll see patterns and it adds an authenticity to an outfit which feels very earth. It feels less performative because these are very practical elements. Wooden or natural accessories, I didn't find too many examples of this, but for example, in Something's Gotta Give, she wears a really cool um, beaded necklace and that feels very earth because it's very of the earth. It's literally made from natural, I was gonna say ingredients, what, natural materials. Denim, of course, jeans, denim shirt, like Chessie wears in the, in the Parent Trap. Jeans come up again in the kind of California cool like Nick Parker outfits. Um, although you don't see a lot of denim on the other characters, you might see white denim. Um, so it just adds a little bit of balance and it adds a slight down to earth feel to the outfits. The outfits in these movies are timeless, simple, expensive, elevated, yet they have this undercurrent of coziness and of being down to earth, real and practical. The idea of this lifestyle is so appealing because it's a very simple life of you can look expensive, you can look luxurious, but you don't have to dress super fancy all the time. And that is a really great mission actually for your wardrobe to have casual clothes that are practical, realistic, but also feel incredibly elevated. So I think that's why this style has had such a resurgence as people have this nostalgia of watching these movies, especially like The Parent Trap, which is a Disney movie from a lot of our childhoods that we're coming back to as an adult and actually seeing it through the eyes of an adult and going, hey, those outfits were incredible. <laughs> 
that's why I'm obsessed with all the outfits in these movies. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I really recommend that you watch my video on Gilmore Girls, why Lorelai's style was so much cooler than Rory's. Some of the style roots I've mentioned here come up again in that video, and I also delve into their body types, their colour seasons. I do a full-on analysis of the two actresses, so make sure to check that out. I think you will enjoy. And if you want me to do a style analysis for you, that is a service I offer, so make sure to head to bodyandstyle.com or the link tree in my description to see everything that I offer. Thank you also to Vivea for being a paid partnership for this video. I really appreciate the support and I'm so excited to wear your shoes all the time. Thank you so much to everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.